So this is a uh, clock stand I made for working on uh, grandfather clocks. I wanted the mechanism to be right at eye level so I could see around it. And basically I just used a, uh, a large heavy disc from a F-350 truck and I used a couple of lag bolts to bolt this 2x4 to it. And uh, you can see here on the top some details about the uh, the clock will mount in here and the chains will go through there and in the back it's cut out where the pendulum will swing. And so I'm going to mount the clock on there and uh, start working on that. So this is the movement here. I'm just going to get it roughly uh, put into position. If there's a uh, two threaded uh, holes here on these standoffs that uh, mount the uh, movement to the base and uh, they use these screws here with a spanning washer so the washer will span the slot and uh, hold the, the clock movement in place And the idea is to give you some kind of adjustment. You're going to need to be able to, to move the clock movement around in relation to the chime rods and things like that that I'll show you later. And on my uh, fixture here, I'm, I'm going to be clamping the chime rods on. But first I'm going to get the clock running and uh, make sure that's working fine before I uh, add the chime rods because it's a lot easier to see what's going on without the rods in the way. So I've got the uh, movement bolted down. I can still slide it around a little bit, but it's, uh, it's won't, it won't fall off. I can show you, maybe I can spin it around. You can see. So here's the back where the pendulum will sit. And I'll show you um, how that works right now. The pendulum's got these uh, hooks on it and they go right through that the slots there and, and drop right in. And uh, there's a pivot point up here with a pin through it and it allows it to have some flexibility in the um, fore and aft uh, adjustment but you do want to try and get it as level as possible it'll work better that way and you definitely need to have the movement level left to right or it, it probably won't run very long or at all so that's how you mount the pendulum i'm going to take it off right now because i need to thread the the chains in as you can see the the chains were uh, had to come off of the uh of the clock and so that's the first thing i need to do is it change back into position and I'll start with this one here because uh, maybe you can see it this one right here and these are ratcheting uh, devices they, they will rotate in one direction but not in the other you can hear it clicking and so what I'm going to do is run the chain through from this direction and down And here's the chain right here. And once I get it started on there and, and it falls through the slot, I'll be able to pull it on some more. So this would be a, a lot more difficult to do with the clock in a case. But there's a lot of things I want to do working on this clock. So now, so now I have it through. So now I can just pull the chain. And I'll drop the other end down there. This end I'm dropping down now is the end that will have the weight on it. And 
I just want the, uh, so I'm going to adjust this so the chain is free to move through the slot. And so that's, uh, that's one chain. I've got two more chains to, to run through. And you just have to evaluate where the, um, which direction these wheels allow you to spin. So here's one on this end. So you can hear it. It's allowing me to rotate that way. So this one's going to be another easy one. Relatively easy. So I'm going to just drop the chain right on here. And once I get enough of it, I can reach through the slot here. I can pull it on through. So again, this would not be <laughs> very easy to do when the clock is in the case. So it's a, a lot easier just to have movement out. Here I'm running this one down. And that goes on the other side of that. And then I'll just drop the other end. The end I'm dropping in now is the end that's going to have the weight on it. Okay, so this chain here is the one that drives the uh, the hour or the quarter chimes. This weight over on this side is the one that drives the the hour. This one has a lot more weight on it than this one. So there's one more chain I have to install. It's in the center, and it's going to be one of the most difficult ones for me because I can't really get my fingers in there very well. First thing I want to do is find out which way it rotates. It's hard to really even see it in there. Okay. It's rotating in this direction. This one's going to be a little tricky to get in there. If I can get the chain hung on one of the uh, sprockets, I could probably spin it on through. I'm going to move the angle. So the next thing I'm going to do is add the weights, and I'm going to start here on this one. This is the heavier weight. I'm going to pull the uh, chain up this way. This is where I'm going to add the weight. And I've got these steel links that I've made to uh, hold the weight. I just need to uh, bend them in. But before I do, before I put that in, I'm going to add a washer here. I'm going to put a washer there like that. And that's going to be installed up a little higher so the uh, person winding the clock won't be able to get the weight up so high that we can't take the weight off. And I'll also put another washer on this side so that when the uh, clock runs down, it won't allow it to run down so much that uh, we can't get the um, I'm just going to bend this out a little bit. Just enough to get it to hook on the chain. Set that in there and then Run this in. And once I have that on there, I'm going to crimp that. I don't want that coming off. I 
And you know, if I was, uh, if this was a clock that was going to be uh, visible, I would use uh, brass hardware or something. But uh, this is the heavy weight. I'm going to put this one on here. I can't really balance it. I can't really level it until I get the weights on because it's quite a lot of weight there. And it would alter the, the balance. And so the way this washer is going to work, I want that to reside up in this area here. So I'll put a loop through there like that and crimp that. And that way when the, uh, when the chain gets up there, it's going to stop and I can still pull the weight off. And so my next one here, this, let's see this one. I'm going to pull this length up. I'm going to add a weight on this one here. Same way as before. I'm going to open it up a little just to get it to go in. And we'll install the washer too. Then I can squeeze the steel closed and hang the weight on it. And these two weights on the end, these are the same weight. This I had to weigh, I had to make this weight in an earlier video. I showed doing that because the uh, someone had lost the weight in one of the moves, and so the, the clock had been, you know, had seen some some neglect there. So. Here's the other one. This one's going in that direction. And here's the last weight. And I've got these little rings here that I'll install just like I did the other ones. I can see the clock has uh, started to come alive there. I can show you that. Adding the weight, it was uh, set up. It was ready to do something there. And now that it has a weight, I, know, I can see this is the trigger for the hour. And I can tell by how many gongs it's doing where to set the hour hand. the weights installed and the next step would be to level it so I'll show you a really quick way to level this there's a lot of ways you can do it I, I was planning to shim the bottom here but I think I'm just going to use this cabinet installer here just to quickly uh, get it leveled up and so I can just insert that and push it to the floor and then set my level on here and just slowly raise this up 
until I get level. And that compensates for the weight and the fact that I'm supporting it only on one side. And, uh, but I want to have access to it, so this is how I made it. And uh, Now it's leveled up, so it should run if I put a pendulum on there. Hopefully it'll run, let's see. Of course, getting it to uh, run accurately, that's a whole other whole other thing, but um, I just want it to run somewhat. Just run. Let's see what she's going to do here. I hear it ticking. <laughs> 